I'm Emily from Seeing Through the Hands in Brooklyn, New York, and this is Fury. Today we're going to be doing a four-part series on the hip sequence in positional therapy. We'll be covering the hip sequence as well as progression for hamstrings and the chest and just wonderful things you can do with a partner or a buddy. So come on to the table. You're going to lie on your back, head that way, feet towards me. So as you remember from a while back from the hip sequence, um, from any kind of positional therapy, everything stems from the hips. So like a house and a foundation of the house, the first thing to go when the house messes up is the foundation. And from the foundation, the first thing to go is the chimney. So in the human body, the foundation is the hips and the chimney is the neck and shoulders. So if we correct the hips and we work with alignment of the hips, we're automatically aligning the whole body. So, as you can see, in order to tell where the hips are in line, I put my thumb on the ankle and my thumb on the other ankle. And as you can see, there's a difference. Also, what's happening with Fury is they have an external rotation, so their toes are going out more. So what we want to do is align their hips and so their ankles will be even and so their toes are pointed up without trying. And we will work with that. It's really important to keep your own body mechanics correct. So when you're the one giving, you want to make sure that you're not rounding and you're not doing anything that's uncomfortable for you. So I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to ask Fury to hip hike their leg up. Um, and what hip hiking is, it's almost like you're carrying a baby or groceries. So you're just going to puzzle it. Okay, so here we go. So you can either scoop your hand under and grab the ankle. That's comfortable for some and not others. So you can bring it a little higher. I'm gonna give you some traction. I'm gonna bend my knees, lengthen my spine, take a nice breath in, and I'm gonna ask you to pull up your left leg, breathe in, and look up with your eyes to 12 o'clock. And just pull up 10%, so even a little less. Good. And release. Good. And now I'm continuing to pull. And again, hip hike. Breathe in. Look up with your eyes. And release. And it's important that I'm breathing, too. And last time. And release. Beautiful. So now I'm going to do the other side. I'm hooking my hands either at the ankle or right above the ankle. I'm engaging my shoulders, bending my knees, breathing in myself. I'm giving some traction. If you could breathe in, look up with your eyes, and hip hike your leg up as though you're carrying a baby or groceries. They're being very good about not twisting their pelvis right now. It's very easy to twist your pelvis when you're hip hiking. What we want is to keep both our hip bones on the table and everything down rooted with our breath. And when we pull our leg up, everything's on the table and it's just nice and smooth. And again. And release. Now there's not a specific number, you can do this any amount of time, but three times gen generally tends to be a charm. So after that, I'm going to ask you to bend your knees, put your feet flat on the table, bringing the foot crossing the ankle, and I'm going to lift their foot up. I'm going to sit on this table, put the foot in between my uh, shoulder and collarbone. I'm taking them to what appears their end point. Then I'm going to back off just a touch. 10% of your strength, if you could push your left knee towards me, breathe in, look up with the eyes, drop the chin. And release. And now I'm going so much farther. I'm making sure their sacrum is on the ground, which it is. I am pushing and release. 
And Fury is 90 degrees here, so make sure that there are 90 degrees. It's really important that the foot that's resting on your shoulder is not doing anything. So if you feel yourself being pushed, be like, oh, just, just press into the knee. And you can kind of joke around being like, you're going to push me out the window, you know, make it a little bit light. But just make sure you're not getting pushed out the window. And note, I'm using my whole body. I'm not slouching. Push in. And release. Great. And coming back and allow me to do all the work. So positional therapy is all about relaxing. So it's so important that the person on the table or the bed, wherever you are, um, lets me do the work. So I'm lifting their leg. Foot in just below the shoulder, next to the collarbone. Can you center your head? Thank you. And sacrum is on the ground. Hand is on the knee. Or if it doesn't reach, away from the knee. Breathe in, look up, push in. Try not to do anything here. And release. And I'm taking it a little further. And again. And release. I'm using my whole body. And again. And release. Great. And I will release their legs. And the next part, take the knee, put their foot right above the kneecap, so their foot's not on the knee, it's directly above it. I'm making sure the chest is down, and I twist. This feels like a resistance. I could probably take them farther, but that would be too much in a low back. So it's important to really just feel with your own self and feel with them if this is comfortable. Always good to check in. Push 10% of your strength into my hand. And release. And then I take them farther. So this taking them farther is different than twisting them because this is now more working with the muscles where if I just took them to quote unquote the end point, I'd be dealing more joint. Now I'm working with muscles. Push up. And release. Do you feel a difference than just taking you all the way down? Push up. And release. Great. So you can always experiment. Does it feel good for you to be, you as the practitioner, to be the same side, on the opposite side, crossing over? Whatever works for you, either way, whatever is comfortable for you too. In fact, I will switch. All right. So, see, I'm just going to just show what it's like. So, if you watch the sacrum, when I just twist, do you see how the ribs and everything are going up in a different way? It's a nice stretch. It feels really good, but it's not what we're looking for. So, we're going to... So, this is the end point here. And I'm going to have you push up, breathe in with the eyes, and release. Great. And again. Push up, breathe in, look up with the eyes, and release. And again. So that was the midpoint of the hip sequence. Please join us for the second half of the hip sequence in two weeks. Thank you at Seeing Through the Hands in Brooklyn, New York, www.NewYorkCityMassageNyoga.com. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.